Okay, I'll stop Siddiqui again. So uh, thanks to Pabudu for highlighting all the uh, statistics of the region and specifically, specifically for the South Asian region and uh, covering Pakistan as well. So um, I'm just going to uh, share uh, some harsh realities uh, out of those statistics. So, well, graph looks perfectly fine, right? So it gives you a clear picture. So what's happening with the IPv4 first? Let's see. So for, for, a, for a country like Pakistan, uh, what's our population? More than 200 million. And how many IPv4 we have? 5.3 million. So you understand the problem, right? I don't have to bring any calculator, no need to do any mathematics. It's just pure, simple. We, are, we don't have enough IPs to bring all the uh, people online. There's a big gap. Even if you put half of the country behind NAT, you will be struggling with a lot of things. And another big issue is, if you look at the graph, the blue represent PTCL. 80% of, of the 5.3 million is with them. So anybody else, sorry, hard luck, you don't have it. So you are part of the remaining uh, one point something million. So now you have to bring uh, a 200 million population country online. What are your options? Well, you have fun. Let's see. So what happens in, in terms of IPv4? Just, just, just look at it again. What happens in IPv4? Everything was steady. Everything was just going fine. And then people realized, oops, IPv4 is running out. So around 2006 and 7, people started getting IPv4 because there was a boom. Uh, Pakistan was growing uh, in terms of technology. Uh, broadband was penetrating like anything. And then we heard in 2010, the next year, that IPv4 will be out. We are running out of it. That was APNIC. Uh, APNIC was the first who ran out of IPv6, IPv4. And in 2011, if you see that peak, just like an Everest, everybody in Pakistan was running out or after to get as much IPv4 they, they can. And this is what happened. Around 200, uh, around 2.4 million IP4 addresses were requested and were allocated from APNIC to Pakistan because everybody knew there was a problem. There was, they, I, I'm pretty sure nobody sitting here doesn't, doesn't understand the problem here, right? So the smart hand, the smart people behind all these big service provider knew it before you. So they, that, that's what they did. They got IP4 just to secure themselves. How different this graph is from this one? This is IPv6 allocation. There are 69 people, there are 69 service provider in Pakistan with IPv6 allocation. How evenly distributed it is. It's a living, level playing field for everyone. There is one player which has 6.4% of the IPv6 of the total uh, Pakistan has. Ever heard about this name? Node Private Limited. At least I never heard about them. Who's the second one? Flame Hosting. Sorry, I never heard about them. So, the two big players, you even don't know them they can come and take up the market in next two, three years. So what's happening? PTCL, sorry, you're on number four. All the other players, well, you are just marked as others. You are insignificant. No, you're not. It's an equal opportunity for everyone. You cannot complain that, oh, I don't have V4, enough V4 to do what I, have, I had to do. Well, you have enough V6, do what you're supposed to do. V6 allocations, very steady graph. This is what happens. 
when 2011 v4 were it was not available people said uh, okay fine we'll just take v6 then people said okay fine we we, we have we already have v6 and then the world started screaming that everyone is running out of v4 then people realized in pakistan and okay fine let's at least take v6 so the graph went up and people started at least taking it from apinic for free they were not charging you for anything but let's see the sorry state of ipv6 in pakistan out of 69 service providers out of 69 apinic members who acquired v6 in pakistan in last uh, 12 years no first allocation was made in 2003 so since then 2016 13 years only 12 service providers are advertising their v6 to the world only 12 now you see the problem and luckily one of them is um, Pakistan Education and Research Network, PERN, HEC, where we are sitting right now. And on your mobile, on your laptop, while you connect to the Wi-Fi, you can get IPv6. Thanks to them. They did a really good job. So it's now up to us to do a better job and bring V6 to Pakistan. Thank you so much. Very brief questions, if any, for our FTAB. Go ahead, Jan. <laughs> thank you. So, thank you, FTAB. When you mentioned that Pakistan has 5.3 million IPv4 addresses, and you are 200 million people nations, I did a quick mathematics. So, with 5.3 million IPv4 addresses, how many sessions are there even possible? There are 350 million sessions. If you use all the ports, well-known ports, everything. That means, you know how much money you would have to pay for CGN that would support 350 million sessions or states? A lot. But even though, e e even then, that makes 1.5 session per user. What can you do with that? Usually you need 1,000 sessions or 500 sessions per, per normal user to make it work. The 1.5 session, you can send an email to your ISP and get some very nice feedback. <laughs> well, probably not because you, because you need also a DNS. <laughs> Damn it. Thank you. Okay, so thank you to FTAP again.